What's going on, my beautiful Aquarius? Thank you guys for tuning in to Jaquela's Divine Tarot. If this is your first time to our channel. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here. I appreciate all of the love and support. If any part of this reading resonates with you, uh, like I said, like the video. It's absolutely free for you to do so. Also, do not forget to subscribe. Once we hit 24K subscribers, all right, we're going to be doing a giveaway to four lucky winners. We do have a current giveaway going on. I'm going to be giving $100 cash uh free cash okay to three lucky winners you have to be subscribed to the channel go and subscribe to my sister's beautiful channel eudora beauty and then follow me on instagram at jaquela's divine tarot and comment under the dream big cash giveaway i'm going to be choosing those lucky winners on friday all right so let's get into it all right I, the last reading that i um did aquarius um it was at the 11.53 mark, all right? High value connections only. That's the reading. Um, i seen where someone of high value, high honor, someone that is transforming the lives of so many people has been locked up. And Rashad Jamal came to my mind, all right? So I want to do a current reading on him to see what is all of this about, all right? Because this man has really affected um, positively a lot of people in the world, okay? And they're trying to silence him with false all the allegations and things like that. So we need to see what we need to do to come together to help our soul tribe. He's definitely a part of my soul tribe. I definitely resonate with him on a personal level. All right, so we're going to see what's going on. If you guys are not familiar with him, go look up Rashad Jamal, the University of Cosmic Intelligence. All right, uh... Yeah, y'all got to tap in with the God, okay? The guys and goddesses that know, you guys know, all right? We need to see what we need to do. Now, he is not the only one that is going through this. There's a lot of people um, that they have done like this in the world. Anybody that is standing up in truth, anybody that is bringing uh, enlightenment uh, or empowerment, inspiring people to really tap into uh, their true essence of being gods and goddesses and how to, how to transform, how to heal and um, how to manifest and how to use your powers for good. Like, he's really, really... Uh, you know what I'm saying, tapped into source. There's a lot of you guys that have the same gifts, okay? Or you have that type of calling on your life, okay? Understand there will be, this is a spiritual warfare. So there will be people coming up against you. So be aware, this is a spiritual warfare. So we have to always, you guys need to be doing your protection work. Like I said, every day, lighting your candles, okay? Smudging your home, cleaning your space, doing your spiritual baths continuously. All right, but we definitely can do that for our friends and families, other people that we know that may be going through the justice system or they have been wronged or whatever in the case whatever the case may be all right so we're going to see what is going on with Rashad Jamal okay what is happening what can we do to help what's going to be the outcome of this because the ancestors are very upset behind this and there will be prices to pay in regards to what is happening to him or what they have done to him okay so let's get into it what's going on with Rashad Jamal all right if you're not interested you can click off all right but my spirit guys are telling me that I need to do this reading when I did the last reading um it's called Aquarius high value connections only his energy popped up at eleven fifty three on that reading I said somebody of high honor and high value is locked up and they have locked this person up with false allegations. Whoever this person is, like you need to ride for this person or see how you can help this person. This may be, you may have somebody that has the same type of energy as Rashad Jamal, all right, that really, that you need to try to help in some type of way, okay? Maybe they are locked up or they're being falsely accused or they're under spiritual attack, all right? So, but in this case, I'm doing a reading for Rashad Jamal. Let's see. What is going on with Rashad Jamal, Holy Spirit, God, and the Spirit, God's ancestors of divine light of protection? Yeah, the magician. The magician. All right. So very powerful energy. The magician is very powerful. All right. So, yeah, I feel like he's manifesting here. Okay, or something has been manipulated. They're trying to manipulate the people to uh, turn on him or they're trying to manipulate some type of narrative in regards to his character. Uh, but the magician just lets me know. Everything that he needs, he already has it. And I feel like they know that. So, yeah, I feel like he's manifesting something here. Uh-huh, Two of Pentacles. All right. So, yeah, Two of Pentacles talks about juggling, going back and forth. All right. So, they could be going back and forth. Okay, this could be litigation to see whether they want to let him out or not. Uh, it's like things are not holding up. Two of Pentacles talks about multiple strings of income, but it also talks about like busy. It talks about two or more people here. So I definitely feel like there was maybe two or more people that was in on this, that was trying to manipulate the story, manipulate him in some type of way. Could have been because of money. Okay, somebody could have been paid off to do this here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles could be some type of family situation. All right, so yeah, he's he's locked up in regards to some type of family situation. If I'm not mistaken, something uh somebody that he previously had a family with or whatever has a child with. Uh, 
or whatnot. Okay, this person came up with some allegations um, against him in regards to children. All right, and that's what is being portrayed to, you know what I mean, the public here. So, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This person's well off. All right, so, yeah, the Magician card is here. All right, so there could be people upset. This talks about magic. There's magic being done, all right, to uh, affect this person's legacy. Because Ten of Pentacles talks about two people coming together, building a legacy here. These people are trying to ruin his legacy, whatever legacy, whatever this is that he's built. He worked hard. He's always busy working on something here. It's like they want to slow him down or, like, manipulate his legacy in some type of way. What's going on with Rashad Jamal? What's going on with Rashad Jamal? Yeah, Five of Swords, a lot of hate. A lot of jealousy somebody here is doing magic because they hate this man they hate the message that he brings they hate that he's enlightening people they hate that they he talks about using your magical powers you know what i'm saying in regards to manifest whatever it is that, that you want or how to tap in you feel me five of swords it's a lot of hate and jealousy going on behind the scenes people okay doing magic all right hate magic is, is the energy that i'm getting wow uh-huh ten of cups i told you it has something to do with a family situation ten of cups all right this man is happy with his family happily married okay and maybe whoever he was dealing with before there could have been some juggling going on or whatever the case may be but whatever the case is like ten of cups all right taking this person away from his family is the energy that i'm getting Okay, these are like Ten of Cups is like family situation here. So even this is like the soul family, our soul tribe coming together to try to help and see like what we can do to help this person. There's a lot of hate and jealousy around this man here. That's why they are doing this here because the Ten of Cups is here. This person uh brings a lot of happiness. You know what I'm saying? Promotes family, unity, people coming together. You see what I'm saying? Starting their own businesses. You know what I'm saying? Having multiple streams of income, not depending on the government and things like that. So yeah, it's like they want to strip that away. They want to take happiness from a lot of people. They want to feed on this energy here. A lot of people uh, are happy with the messages or the growth that they have seen by being connected to this man here, this powerful man here. And there's a lot of hate and jealousy behind that. What's going on with Rashad Jamal? Six of Swords. Okay, so this talks about travel. All right, so I don't know if they got him or locked him up while he was, like, traveling with his family, moving with his family, something like that. So, Six of Swords, I feel like this is, like, his soul tribe or his family or all of us coming together trying to see how can we move this situation forward. All right, Six of Swords talks about, yeah, moving on or Spirit is saying, like, whoever is coming up against this man here, their best bet is just, just to move forward, like, to let it go. Let this person free with the Six of Swords. It talks about moving on. All right, what's going to be the outcome here? Yeah, the emperor. I'm telling you, this is a very powerful. This is a good father, a good uh, husband, a good friend. The emperor, this is a leader. This person is a leader here. The emperor, this talks about, yeah, this is a child's mother or uh, a child's father. This is like baby mama, baby daddy energy. Okay, so yeah, baby mother energy. All right, manipulated the situation. This baby mother here, whoever he has a child with. This may even be his wife here that's working behind the scenes. All right, she may even be doing her own little magic or whatever to try to manifest him to be free or whatever the case may be for this to be tossed out. All right, or this is something that we can do. Okay, leaders is here. So stepping into leadership. Some of us need to, you know what I'm saying, the knowledge and things that he has given us, okay, or using our own powers to step up and be leaders. All right, to see how we can help. But yeah, the emperor, this is someone that's a good provider. This is someone that's solid. This is a magnificent leader here. And there's a lot of hate and jealousy that comes with that, with the emperor. What's the outcome here? Mm-hmm. We got a new beginning. Ace of Wands. I feel like he's a Sagittarius energy, okay? But, yeah, he could definitely be like an Aries or a Aries Leo Sag. He may have Taurus or Libra in his chart. But, yeah, Ace of Wands. This talks about a new beginning here, too. This talks about taking action. So, I see his wife could be taking action or there's a lot of people behind the scenes taking action. Burning candles, saying affirmations, taking action, going to the court. Uh, okay, so I don't know if they're putting something together that we all can like contribute to. All right, to help him with this court proceeding. Okay, what's going to be the outcome of this uh, of this case against Rashad Jamal? What's going to be the outcome? Mm-hmm, three of wands. All right, so it's like uh, Three of Wands talks about like currently getting out of something. All right, so I definitely feel like, yeah, Three of Wands is here. So I don't know if he, they're trying to hit him with three years, three months, okay? Or these are three solid people that he has in his corner. But this also talks about Three of Wands, talks about like distant travel. It also talks about turning your back on something here. 
So like I said, this man is very powerful, has influenced a lot of people. But of course, there's going to be people here that's going to turn their back on him. Just because of what's been portrayed in the media and things like that. But three of wands, okay? So this is like waiting for your ships to come in. So there's a waiting game. All right, so I don't know if he's waiting to hear the verdict, waiting to hear back from the judge. Somebody's waiting to hear from him. So I don't know if his family has talked to him or what. But it's like the people are waiting to hear like what's going to happen. What's going to be the outcome of this court case? Five of cups. Something, something disappointing. Something is disappointed here. All right, so somebody's disappointed by uh, maybe a decision or maybe they're going to drag this out. They're going to try to drag this out. Five of Cups. This is some type of disappointment. So somebody here is wanting a new beginning or a bond or something. But yeah, this is like crying over spilled milk. So somebody here could be in regret. If this was somebody that, uh, that went to the courts or made up some lies or whatever, somebody's in regret here. They could be falling into a deep depression. All right. This may even be him. He may be in some type of regret or, you know, wishing that he could reach out and talk to his people to keep us uplifted or whatever the case may be. This is somebody here falling into a depression. So I'm feeling like if you are in tune with him, like sending your love, sending your light, sending your confidence, sending your, uh, like your good energy and vibes. Okay. To console him right now. Cause somebody here is disappointed. This may even be his family or this may be whoever did this to him. Or got him caught up in this bull crap. They could be falling into a depression. Drinking a lot. Smoking a lot. Like yeah five of cups is here. Somebody could be uh, upset. Because maybe they're not getting a new beginning. Or something right now. Or this could be him. They're going to try to drag this out. What's going to be the outcome of this? Yeah look celebration. Three of cups. So yeah he will be reunited. He will be reunited with his family. Or whatever I see celebrating here. All right, these are three people celebrating. This talks about reconciliation, him being reunited with his family, him being reunited with his people. Three of Cups is here. So I do see an outcome or I see something, him getting a second chance. Or I do see him like, yeah, it's like the, the, the his angels and spirit guides are going to come through. Okay, so he may be depressed. He may be down right now. Or like I said, some of you guys have someone that is in this type of energy too. You know what I'm saying? A child's father or a baby mother or this could be even a husband or a wife. Somebody here is like trying to manifest a new beginning here with you. This is like the same type of energy. Somebody could be going through this similar situation here. But I see celebration here. So I feel like this is ultimately going to go in his favor. Is there anything that we can do to help Rashad Jamal, Holy Spirit? What can we do right now to help him? To help our soul tribe? What can we do? Yeah, Six of Cups. I'm telling you. Six of Cups, this talks about like a past life. So I feel like maybe this is something that happened to him in a past life. Six of Cups with the Three of Cups is Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So he's going to get exactly what he wants, all right? Freedom to be able to get out, to get a second chance to be reunited, all right? There's a lot of angels and ancestors, okay? And his soul tribe is fighting for him. Six of Cups, this is like somebody from the past that he dealt with that could have did this or had him involved in this. Sister Cups, I'm asking, what can we do to help? I'm hearing something about maybe going back and looking at some of his past videos. Some of you guys could be going back looking at some of his past videos and drop it. He dropped some type of knowledge or some type of jewels or something in one of those videos to help you. You know what I'm saying? Help raise the frequency, raise the vibe, okay? Because we can do this energetically to help him. Anybody that we love, okay, or that we vibrate high with and we feel like they have been wronged um, in any kind of way or they're stuck in something, we can send healing vibes and uh, positivity to them energetically. All right, through meditation, through cleansing our energy, through grounding ourselves, saying our affirmations and things like that to send that love, to send the help and angels and spirit guides around them to help them. So, yeah, six of cups, something in the past. Looking at past videos, getting some past knowledge or something that he dropped up on us. All right, and, take, and using that to help him. What else can we do to help Rashad Jamal, Holy Spirit? What can we do to help him? Yeah, page of pentacles. All right, so I don't know if he needs money for bail. He don't need a damn thing because he's popping up at the Ten of Pentacles. That's a motherfucker that's, okay, he got it. Okay, this is like coming together. You and your wife or you and whoever you're supposed to be with building, you know what I'm saying, legacy here. I don't know if he's married to an earth sign, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. don't matter what sign she is. This is like two people coming together, building a legacy here. So she, he got the money here. All right, but this is like donating something your time your energy calling down there writing the letters doing something here to show your appreciation page of pentacles it may not be much 
All right, this may even be children that want to help him here because he has a prime, a, a, a crazy a positive effect even on the younger generations. Page of Pentacles is like a younger energy here. All right, so even, even the children can get in this and help. You know what I'm saying? If they have heard some of his messages, but Page of Pentacles talked about giving something monetary. So I don't know if you guys have been sending donations to his wife or uh, sending letters, doing something here. Page of Pentacles. This is give, offering something up to help. So there is something you can do, whether this is sending love, encouragement, okay, sending donations to his wife or whatever the case may be. I don't know if they're taking up donations. He don't need it though. Is what I'm saying, like, but every little bit can help. Positive words and encouragement, okay? I feel like his wife was putting a campaign or something together where we can write letters or something. So some of you guys may have wrote letters, okay? Or did something. Or maybe you're sending something to the, uh, where he's currently, uh, at. I forgot. I think she told me Broward. I think his wife said Broward County Detention Center. Brow I don't know if it's Broward County in Georgia Detention Center. All right, so some of you guys could be sending something there, calling there, something. What what can we do to help? Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this is a lot of people, all right, coming in to give, all right? Look, to balance the scales out. Six of Pentacles. So I'm hearing as much time, effort, and love that he gave to us while he was out through his lectures, through his energy, uh, through his knowledge that he dropped on us. We can now, it's our time to stand up. Those that resonate with him, everybody's not a part of the same soul tribe. But I know he's a part of my soul tribe. And a lot of you guys that are familiar with him, he's a part of your soul tribe too. Six of Pentacles. This talks about giving. Whatever it is that you can give. If it's letters that they need, writing the letters. If it's encouragement, doing that. Reaching out. Six of Pentacles. This talks about giving back. This man has given back to a lot of children and families and to, you know what I'm saying, just through his lectures and stuff. So now it's our time to stand up and give back. To build him up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Six of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. All right, so 666. Anytime you see anybody in the community that's trying to give back and uplift the community, they always try to take that person out or silence that particular person. All right, why is this happening to Rashad? Let's see, why is this happening to Rashad, Jamal? Why is this happening to him? We already know what I tell you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? The devil. What did I tell you? Anytime somebody here is trying to uplift the people, give back, help them tap into their true God and goddess energy, the devil, there's evil here. There's somebody, this may even be people in the industry because I feel like he does music. So this may even be the industry, people in the industry. They want his soul. They don't want him to give back. Six of Pentacles, what? You taking all that talent, all of that positive energy, you giving back to the people. No, you should be giving to us. So this is like they're trying to get him to conform or to like sign some type of deal or contract or something. So they could be like sitting here trying to get him to sign some type of contract with the devil here and he's refusing to go. There's evil at, at, at play here. Dark energies around this man to keep him bound. Okay, or this is like a toxic connection. This could have been a toxic connection that he had in the past. With the Six of Cups here, somebody that wanted to keep him bound to them, didn't want him to be with nobody else. He's doing well, giving back, and somebody here is pissed the fuck off. Somebody here is very, very toxic. This could be a karmic here, or these are people in the industry that are doing this here. Mm -hmm. Why is this happening to Rashad Jamal? Why is this happening to him? Yeah, Four of Cups, I told you. I told you. I can't make this up. Motherfuckers want him to make a deal with the devil. They offering this cup, all right? He might even be refusing. He may not even be eating or drinking in here. Just meditating. I don't want your food. I don't want your drink. They could be trying to poison him or do something crazy, all right? I feel like he like, nah. I feel like he just in here waiting like shit. I know my angels and ancestors are finna come through. It's like he's very confident even though he, you know what I'm saying? He may have energy where he may be feeling down. But like, what's taking so fucking long? I know my spirit guides and ancestors ain't finna let me go like this. Yeah, these are people in the industry, dark energies that are trying to offer him something that he does not want. He refuses to take it. He refuses to sell his soul, period. Why is this happening to Rashad Jamal? Yeah, that's why they locked him up currently locked up and stuck these people these dark energies people that are in the industry or whoever these talk these dark energies they want him to take this offer and he will not he refuses 
just take this deal just sign this you know what i'm saying anybody that has that type of influence and stuff like that you better believe all right it's dark energies that are going to try to offer him something you're leading your people to freedom you're leading your people to uplift themselves and you're leading them to tap into their true higher selves now sign this contract because you got that type of influence oh we need that energy they want to use that energy that he carries or the following that he has to lead people into like to, to trap people. So because he refused to do this, that's why they locked this man up to keep him bound, to keep him stuck until he signs. I, I don't I don't feel like he's okay. What's gonna happen if he okay, because he's refusing this. Let's see, what's gonna happen to these people coming up against him? What's gonna happen to these people coming up against him, Holy Spirit? Five of Pentacles. They're going to be fucked up, losing money, broke. This person right here is hobbling. Somebody here could have, I don't know, hopefully they didn't beat him up or do nothing crazy to him. We don't know what what's going on behind the scenes. Somebody's hurt here. Five of Pentacles, broke. These people are going to lose money. They may even be losing limbs and shit for fucking with this person here. His angels and spirit guys is beating the hell out of somebody here. Maybe they are going to lose money, lose their home. What's going to happen to these people? Yeah, King of Swords, I'm telling you. Or whoever this was that lied on him could be homeless, broke, going through it. King of Swords, the truth will come out. King of Swords, this is like, okay, being logical. Stand up. This is judicial system. They ain't going to have no choice but to let him go. They have no choice. I'm just hearing like the energy of Moses, like the spirit of Moses, like let my people go. That's the type of energy that's coming in to help King of Swords. Somebody's going to get something cut off here. The house is going to get cut off. Their money going to get cut off. Somebody may be losing a limb. It's gonna, it's some hell to pay here for dealing for messing with this person here. What's going to be the outcome for these people that came up against this man? Yeah, you hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? His angels and spirit guides are around. Some of you guys are calling on angels and spirit guides to go and help him and assist him here. Temperance. He definitely has angelic energy around him. King of Wands, okay? If he's a fire sign, every Leo Sage, uh, Sagittarius energy, I believe, okay? He's definitely got, he's divinely guided and protected, all right? They could be jealous of his looks, how he talks, how he carry himself. He's mad as a motherfucker. The King of Wands is sitting here with his fist balled up, but you know what? He know, okay, this is, I'm in this fight now to where, yeah, my angels and spirit guys gonna have to step in. All right, so he's trying to keep himself emotionally balanced and things like that. So what we can do on our part, we can light these candles. We can send our love and light. Go back and look at some of his past videos. Gain that knowledge, all right? Because they may even try to start taking his videos and stuff down and stuff like that. Get that knowledge or whatever that you need, all right? So we can come together collectively, all right, to help him here. But his angels and spirit guys got this got this handle, look, the world card. All right, this is going to be over with. All right, this is like a completion to the cycle. The worst part of it is over. Okay, they arrested him. They took him in, whatever. Yeah, finna be out traveling. This person had a huge, uh, he has a huge impact on the world. On the world. World renowned. All right. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, nine of swords. He could have some anxiety. Or oh, there's a lot of people around the world that are worried. Those of you that are worried, there's no need to worry. Use your energy collectively to pray for him and his family. To send love and light. Whatever we can do to help, that's what we need to be doing. Worrying is not going to help. All right? This will be over soon or whatever. This cycle will be over soon. But yeah, no need to worry. Is the energy somebody's not sleeping at night? Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands is in reverse. If you see Nine of Wands, it almost kind of looks like jail or like being caged in. Guards is up. Okay, so yeah. It's in reverse. Guards is down. Justice is in reverse. Okay? So no need to worry. 9-9. Nine, nine. All right? So we're just going to have to let this play out. All right? I don't know why my spirit guides wanted me to do this reading, but I did. All right? So send your love and light to this brother. Go and look him up. Rashad Jamal. He's had a huge impact on the world. And understand in life, you guys have the same type of purpose. You have the same type of energy where you're supposed to be bringing enlightenment and empowerment to the world. So understand when you're bringing that type of enlightenment to all people all over the world, there will be spiritual attacks and things that come up against you. So you need to be doing your spiritual cleansing, protection every day. 
all right but also we need to be doing the same thing for people that are part of our soul tribe as well all right because we are one we are everything and everything is us i love you guys so much if you rocking with this video okay thumbs it up leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you know who rashad jamal is if you rocking with him um and if you have any updates put it in the comment section down below all right and uh, i'll see you on the next reading bye